a movie based on the inspiring true story of a team of underdogs consisting of a struggling working-class gamer, a failed former race car driver, and an idealistic motorsport executive. 25 years ago, the world's most accurate and realistic car racing simulator game was created. It was called Gran Turismo, and it was created by a man named Kazunori Yamauchi, a Japanese game designer who wanted to make car racing accessible to everyone. The movie began with a man named Danny Moore, a motorsport marketing executive. He went to Nissan and promoted his idea of establishing the GT Academy. He wanted to make a contest for the players of Gran Turismo, and the top players who would be chosen would then be recruited and trained in the GT Academy to be real car racers. His idea was accepted under only one condition, that it would be safe and that there would be no mistakes. Excited, Danny quickly worked on this project and started recruiting trainers first. When no one accepted to train the players, he decided to go to Team Kappa Racing Garage to recruit Jack Salter, a former race car driver who is now a mechanic. Salter didn't accept the first time, but later that night, when he had enough of the Kappa team's race driver, Nicholas Kappa, always belittling him, Jack decided to accept Danny's offer. Meanwhile, a retail worker named Jan Mardenborough was excited when he received the sim racing wheel he ordered and started playing Gran Turismo, showing off his skills. Jan had always dreamed of becoming a car racer, but that dream seemed so far away for him due to the fact that he was just a struggling, working-class man and his former football player father didn't agree to his dream. But that all changed when his friend, Persol, messaged him about some good news. Jan rushed to Gammerland Cafe and saw that he had been selected to compete for a place in GT Academy. He played the video message of Danny talking about how the selected players would compete against each other through a virtual race happening the next day. Whoever wins would get a place in GT Academy and would be trained to become a real car racer. That night, Jan was invited to a party by his brother, Kobe, which Jan agreed to go to. At the party, he met a woman named Audrey and flirted with her. But as the two of them were busy in their own worlds, the police arrived and all partygoers rushed to escape. Jan and Kobe were chased by the police, but with Jan's skills and knowledge of car racing, they were able to escape from the police. But upon arriving back home, they were caught by their father, Steve, who brought Jan to work the next day so the son could help him. Steve explained that it wasn't a punishment but a life lesson that Jan would end up just like him if he didn't go back to school and if he continued trying to pursue his dream of becoming a car racer. But Jan didn't listen to his father and escaped a while later, rushing to go to Gamerland Cafe as the virtual race competition was starting. Jan managed to reach the cafe just in time and immediately went to join the race, with everyone else in the cafe watching him. Despite being in the last position, Jan skillfully beat the other racers and won the virtual race. The next day, Jan was preparing to go to the GT Academy, with his father trying to stop him. Steve was not only worried about his son's future, but also for his well-being, as he knew car racing would be a very dangerous career. But when Jan reminded him of when he used to adore Jan's love for cars... Steve was tearful as he relented, finally accepting that there was no stopping his son from racing after his dream. Jan had reached the GT Academy along with the other competitors and was in awe of the place. Jack gave his speech about the real race and made fun of the racers, telling them that he thinks none of them deserve to be in GT Academy. The gamers were then trained on how to drive real cars. Jan wasn't prepared to drive a real car and was extremely nervous, causing him to look funny during training and interviews, which caused another gamer called Matty to look down on him. Throughout the training, several gamers were eliminated as they couldn't handle Jack's harsh training and how physically demanding the sport actually was. During a race against Matty, Jan failed as Matty blocked him and Jan was unable to brake properly. After the race, Jan was comforted by the other gamers when Matt approached them, bragging about being in first place and belittling Jan. 
During a meeting, Jack berated Jan for failing, and when Jan confronted him saying that the brake wasn't working properly, Jack didn't believe him, assuming that Jan was just trying to cover up the fact that he was afraid. But when the car Jan used was checked, Jack realized that Jan wasn't lying about the brakes not working properly and asked Jan how he knew the brakes weren't working. Jan explained that he used to spend hours setting up cars on GT, so he had enough knowledge about cars. Jack walked away after telling Jan that he was in the final five and would still be able to compete, leaving Jan happy. The next day, the gamers prepared for a real race, and Jan encouraged himself by trying to think of the race as just a game. The race began, and Jan was in last place. By the second lap until the seventh lap, Jan was in third place. Jan swerved and went past the other driver, making him take second place. In the final lap, Jan reminded himself to commit, something that Jack would always remind the gamers, and with determination, both Jan and Matty crossed the finish line almost at the same time. The announcement of the winner took some time, as Jack and Danny had to replay the record to see who really won. Seeing that it was Jan, Jack told the announcer to say who the winner was, but was stopped by Danny. Danny explained that Jan wasn't fit to become a real racer, as he wasn't confident like Maddie is. But Jack didn't agree with Danny, and Jan was announced as the winner. The other gamers congratulated Jan, including Maddie, who seemed reluctant. Jan, Danny, and Jack traveled together for Jan's qualifying races, and on the plane, Danny and Jack explained that Jan needed to get at least fourth place in any one of the qualifying races to earn a professional license and contact with Nissan. Jack reminded Jan that he was going against professional racers and that no one was going to welcome him into the racing world but himself. Jack then told Jan that if he had any feedback, he was to tell it to Jack as the mechanics would hate Jan just like he hated Nicholas Kappa when he was still working as a mechanic for him. When Jack walked away, Danny told Jan that Jack used to be one of the car racers and would have been the best of all the best if only he hadn't quit. Jan was curious, but seeing that it was a sensitive topic, she decided to drop it. The trio had landed in Austria and prepared for the first qualifying race. Jan was extremely nervous to be playing against real racers, but Jack was encouraging him and helping him keep himself together. During the race, Jan encountered obstacles. The exhaust of the car in front of him exploded, and his car went low on fuel, so he had to stop over. But Jan still managed to reach fourth place, passing Nicola Kappa. Kappa played dirty and tapped the back of his car, sending him into a spin. This caused Jan to fall behind the lines and finish the race in last place. Jack and Danny comforted Jan and told him that it wasn't his fault that he was tapped by Kappa. Jan kept training himself and improving his skills for every race they went to. In the second race, Jan had problems communicating with Jack and finished in 23rd place. In the third game, he was in 17th place. In the fourth game, he got 8th place. In the penultimate race in Barcelona, he was unable to finish the game due to his car getting caught in a gravel trap. In the last qualifying race in Dubai, Jan had improved a lot. But due to Kappa always playing dirty against him, Jan was having trouble getting past. When his car got caught between Kappa and another racer, Jan slowed his car and abruptly went fast, successfully passing Kappa and reaching fourth place. Enraged, Kappa drove too fast to overtake Jan but crashed into another racer in front of them. The debris from Kappa's car hit and cracked Jan's windshield, leading him to stop in the pit lane to get his windshield fixed. Jan went back to the race and caught up with the fourth place racer. In the end, Jan finished the game in fourth place. After parking his car, Jan confronted Kappa about his dirty place but was stopped by Jack and Danny who made him happy by telling him that he had finally earned himself an FIA license. In his hotel room, Jan called Audrey and was happy to know that the girl was still interested in him. So using the signing bonus he received, he got Audrey to fly to Tokyo to meet him there. Jan, Jack, and Danny traveled to Tokyo together, and Danny brought him to Nissan for the contract signing. 
During the signing event, Jan had to keep his excitement in check when he saw Audrey by the door. After the contract signing, Jan and Audrey went on a date around Tokyo, and their first kiss happened in the middle of the dance floor of a club. Jan, Jack, and Danny then flew to Germany for his first official race after singing with Nissan. The race was being shown all over the world, and his parents were watching him. Jan was going so well and was steady in the game. He overtook Kappa and reached second place. But on a particularly high road, the front of Jan's car flipped upwards and crashed against the spectator's area. Steve and Leslie watched in horror as their son's accident was filmed. Leslie cried as the ambulance rushed towards Jan. Jan was brought to the hospital in a helicopter, and when he woke up, Jack regrettably dropped the bomb on Jan that a spectator had died during the accident. Jack and Danny comforted Jan, who was crying and blaming himself for the death of an innocent spectator. Jack and Danny tried to tell him that it wasn't his fault and that car racing had always been a dangerous sport, not only for the racers, but also for the spectators but Jan refused to listen to reason and yelled at the two to get out. Due to his guilt, Jan refused to race again, despite being comforted and reminded by Audrey and Leslie that the accident wasn't his fault. Jack, on the other hand, almost had a fight with Kappa, who berated him for letting a beginner race against professionals. Determined to make Jan feel better and also wanting him to not have regrets like he does, Jack brought Jan to the racetrack where the accident happened. Jack revealed that the reason he retired from racing was because he also got involved in a fatal accident at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Jack advised Jan to go back on track if he wanted to prove himself because if he didn't, he would regret it for the rest of his life. He also explained that a crash doesn't define who Jan is. How he reacts to it will. Danny dealt with the media and clarified that Jan hadn't done anything wrong. However, professional sentiment started having doubts about sim drivers, not believing that they were eligible enough to be racing against real professionals. In response, Danny decided to create a team that would compete at Le Mans and finish on the podium to prove that even sim drivers can be professionals too. Jack pulled Jan away for a little bit to ensure that Jan was willing to race at Le Mans, which they knew would be extremely dangerous. Having gained enough confidence thanks to Jack, Jan decided to race at Le Mans. They then met up with Maddie and another sim driver at GT Academy named Antonio Cruz. Jan, Maddie, and Antonio would team up for the three-driver team at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Jan was preparing for the race when Steve came in the room, and the father and son hugged each other. Steve cried as he apologized for not supporting Jan at first and explained that he just wanted to protect her. They hugged each other again as Steve told Jan how proud he was of him. Audrey also came to support Jan, along with the other GT Academy participants, and in the spectators' area were Jan's parents and brother. The race had begun, and Jan was going incredibly well, overtaking cars after cars. Jan watched as the car in front of him crashed and exploded. It made him remember the day of his accident, and he was reminded yet again of the innocent life that was lost during the accident. Jan was shaken because of what he witnessed and remembered, and he became so unfocused. Jan was slowing down and getting left behind. Jack noticed this and tried talking to Jan, who wasn't responding. Audrey and the GT Academy participants anxiously watched as Jan lost focus throughout the game. To get Jan back to the race, Jack played the songs Songbird and Orinoco Flow through the car's communication system, which he knew Jan always listened to during training and before he went to the race. This definitely brought Jan back to the game as the latter got annoyed at Jack, demanding he turn the songs off. Hearing that Jan was getting mad at him, Jack cheered and reminded Jan to unleash that anger and finish the race. Jan did as he was told and easily overtook the cars in front of him. The 24-hour race continued on, and both Maddie and Antonio finished their first shifts without issue. However, during Antonio's last shift, the latter finished his last shift early due to him experiencing cramps, rendering him unable to complete his shift. As the next shift was his, 
Jan rushed to catch up in the race but got frustrated when a wheel nut broke loose, causing him to stay behind several positions. Jan told Jack about his plan to catch up and steal positions. Both Jack and Danny were against it, but Jan was determined to execute his plan. Using his tactics whenever he'd play the racing simulator game, Jan deviated from the advised racing lines and quickly regained positions, breaking the lap record in the process. Jan reached fourth position in the final lap, and he once again pitted against Kappa. Overtaking Kappa proved to be a struggle, as Kappa made sure not to make things easier for him. The whole Nissan crew and Jan's supporters watched in suspense as Jan and Kappa battled for third place. When Jan successfully overtook Kappa, earning a third place and a podium finish for Nissan, everyone cheered. In the epilogue, the real Jan Mardenborough and a short explanation of his career were shown. Because of Jan, motorsports were forever changed. He had competed in over 200 races to date and even served as his own stunt double in the Gran Turismo film.